in the previous session we have seen about a high impedance bus bar production in today's session we will be seeing about the frame leakage protection in this case if you are going to see in order to protect the entire bus bar station here i am going to connect a bus which is called as your fault bus it is going to be a metallic conductor this conductor is going to be earth in this case so whatever the faults which is occurring in this it is going to be collected via this metallic bar and it is going to pass through the ct so when the fault currents are going to pass through the ct then you can identify what fault it is so this type of protection is called as a fault bus protection where you are going to have a metallic barrier which is going to correct all the fault currents and it is going to be earthed via the insulator here you are going to provide the station earthing and to the secondary of the ct i am going to have the over current relay okay so in this uh, this type of protection is mainly used for your indoor protection when compared with your outdoor protection and it is also it is applicable for the uh, metal clad isolated installations which gear installation wherever it is you can use it now here in order to avoid the undesirable operation of the relay due to your spurious currents in that case usually if you are going to see usually a check relay will be placed near the neutral so whenever a check relay is going to be placed near the neutral okay you have a check relay to check the amount of the magnitude of the fault earth fault current in that case immediately i can use a instantaneous over current relay for the protection if i have a checked relay near the neutral immediately instantaneously the relay has to operate so i provided the instantaneous over current protection it will operate immediately because already one uh, one important check relay is associated with it in case if the no check relay is there at the neutral point okay if there is no check relay at the neutral point in that case i will be going in for a inverse time current relay because i don't have the neutral relay so in that case i have to go in for a inverse time relay because this inverse time relay will act in such a way that if at all a fault current increases then the relay will operate immediately so in previous case there was a check relay which says that so whenever a check relay is there so instantaneous over current relay alone is sufficient whereas if there is no check relay in that case the relay has to be more sensitive in this case we are going in for a inverse time relay so that if the operating current is more the relay will operate immediately so with this i wind up today's session thank you